In this video, we're going to look at the comparison between a conventional loan and FHA loan. So an FHA loan is issued by a federally approved bank or financial institution. It's insured by the Federal Housing Administration. It can be less restrictive and can have a lower down payment requirement and maybe even a lower credit score. The conventional loan, on the other hand, is not insured or guaranteed by a government agency. It's insured by private lenders, and you only need that insurance if your LTV, or your loan-to-value, is greater than 80%. It's called a conforming loan because it conforms to Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac standards, and a higher credit score is required, so you need to be a 620 ideally. You can be a little bit lower than that, but... A 620 is normally what we'd be getting the decent rates at. So the minimum down payment for a conventional loan might be 3%. And then you would need the private mortgage insurance. Uh, for an FHA loan, you can get away with as little as 3.5% uh, on your down payment. So the conventional loan, typically you want to be nearer to 20%. And then on your credit score for a conventional loan, 620 is a minimum credit score. You can get a little lower, but of course the price starts going up for the loan. With FHA, is 580 if you're at that 3.5%. You can actually get it down to 500, so you could have a, a credit score of only 500, a FICO score of 500 uh, with a 10% down for FHA. So it is flexible in that respect. Um, your maximum debt to income 45% on a conventional loan, actually 36% is better, and that's what we typically calculate your maximum loan amounts on. So if you look at our video on maximum loan amount, you'll see it uses 36% back-end uh, debt-to-income ratio. And then for FHA, you can get away with 57%. So for a conventional loan, the, the limit or the maximum amount that you can get to is $548,250. Beyond that, you're going to be on a jumbo loan. Now, that amount is increasing. We just got word that that's actually going to go up. So it will be higher than that. But for now, let's assume it's the 548,250. Whereas the FHA only goes up to 356,362 in a low cost area. If you get into high cost areas, it can go higher than that. Um, so it just depends on the area that you live in. The, the rates are published for that. And then mortgage insurance, this is a big one, big difference. So for conventional loans, as we said, um, if you have a down payment of 20% or more, you won't pay mortgage insurance. If you go lower than 20%, you'll pay mortgage insurance. But when your loan to value ratio reaches 78%, the mortgage insurance will automatically terminate. And actually, you can request to terminate that mortgage insurance at 80% loan-to-value ratio. For the FHA loan, the upfront and monthly payments for the duration of the mortgage term are required. So you end up paying an upfront amount, and then you have to pay mortgage insurance throughout the term of the loan. The other thing that's different, a huge difference here, the conventional loan it can be a primary residence, a secondary residence, or even a rental property. Uh, the FHA loan, it can only be your primary residence. So that's a big difference. If you're looking to buy a second home or if you're looking for a rental property, FHA is not for you. Um, property standards are a little bit different. So the Home Valuation Code of Conduct regulates the standards. That's for your appraisal on the conventional home. And then for the FHA, the FHA Minimum Property Standards, which is a slightly different appraisal, uh, is used and, and can be a little bit more restrictive in terms of the appraisal. And then the upfront mortgage insurance fee on a conventional loan, there isn't any, uh, but on the FHA, it's 1.75% upfront mortgage insurance fee. So that's going to make a difference again to your uh, loan and, and the closing costs. So in summary, an FHA loan probably makes sense for you if you have a high debt to income ratio. So if you have lots of debt, 
Um, and we have a video on that, so you can take a look at that video about the three important ratios. It, it covers the debt to income, the loan to value, and the housing ratios and explains the difference between those. Um, if you don't have a high credit score, the FHA loan might make sense for you. And if you don't have much money for a down payment, so that three and a half percent, if that's all you have, it may be a good option for you. Um, and if you don't want to wait to improve your credit score, so a lot of people will work on their credit first and then uh, try and get a conventional loan. But if you're one that needs to do it now, FHA might make sense for you in that case too. Now, a conventional loan might make sense if you have a lower debt to income ratio. Again, look at that video, you'll see the differences and how to calculate that debt to in income ratio. If you have a good credit score, so if, you, if your credit score is above a 620, uh, you're probably going to look at the conventional loan. If you don't want to pay PMI, the, the mortgage insurance for the life of your loan, so remember with the, with the conventional loan, you can automatically get rid of that uh, mortgage insurance if you uh, get 20% of the principal paid off, so your loan to value is 80% or less. So in that case, you can get rid of the mortgage insurance. If you want to buy a more expensive home, the conventional loan is for you. Remember the limits on the FHA were down in the 300s. With a conventional loan, you can go much higher. And then if you want to buy a primary, a secondary, or a rental property, the conventional loan may be for you. So those are the, the pointers that you need to know, the differences that you need to know is acquire a conventional loan or a FHA loan. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below. Or well, to reach out to me, I'll be more than happy to help you to, to decide which one's right for you and give you any uh, information that you need to make that decision. So hopefully you've enjoyed the video. If you have, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, there's loads more video information on home buying. And if you have or are interested in buying a home, you have a mortgage, uh, please consider subscribing to the channel. There's loads more videos coming. We're going to cover all aspects of, of loans and try and help you guys to get the right loans and find the home of your dreams.